Welcome back and thank you for tuning in to another NCA Crokinole Tournament matchup. What you are about to enjoy is the finals from the February Frosty Flick of 2024 which took place in Chatham, Ontario. Andrew Hutchinson to your left got here by defeating Nolan Tracy in the semi in one semi-final match and Josh Cariafello to your right got here by defeating Ray Beerling in the other semi-final. If you have not watched those semi-final matches, you have missed out. So uh, yeah, when you're done here, go back and watch those. These two players get started off with a couple of open 20s. Josh Cariafello and Andrew Hutchinson are both extremely skilled in the Open 20 department and uh, both currently ranked in the top five of the NCA. I don't have the exact stats here in front of me, but they have both been doing extremely well on the tour in, uh, in recent events. And if you're paying attention, you can see why as they go back and forth on Open 20s. Josh Cariafello, first to miss, goes a little bit long. Hutchinson with the hammer. If he can get away, he'll be in a good position for this. Yep, that's uh, that's a great spot. Uh, not tough takeout, but absolutely tough to generate a 20 out of that position. Carry a fellow, quite a tricky competitor, though, so we'll see what he can come up with. Yeah, not sure what he was going for there, but it wasn't that. Hutchinson's able to secure an open 20. Yeah, that pretty much seals the deal. That definitely seals the deal. 720s for Hutchinson in this round. 820s, seven which he achieved himself, and then a uh, little help from Kerry Fellow on the on the uh, sixth one, I believe it was. Hutchinson first to miss in this round two. Gary Fellow weighing out his options. Not sure if that's what he wanted. This will give Hutchinson the option to hide. I'm not sure what he's going to be up to here, though. Content to keep play back on his side of the board. With Gary Fellow having hammer, Hutchinson is going to have to make something happen. Either draw a miss or <clears throat> generate a 20 one way or another. Hutchinson going for the hide, put a little too much on it, caught the peg, moved back. Not really doing anything that's causing Cariofello too much stress at this point. That's getting a little better, but still fairly open on the right side. Cariofello content to hit and stick there between the pegs as it doesn't give Hutchinson much to work with. A little better on the hide maybe, still going to be... Yeah, still very gettable for Kerry Fellow. At this point, I'm guessing Hutchinson's about to switch strategies and go for that 20. A little bit off. All Kerry Fellow needs to secure this two points is a takeout, a hit and stick. Even if he just demotes that black disc, that will be enough. Demotes it all the way into the gutter. Nodding us up at two points to two in this race to 11 to determine the champion of the tournament. Kerry Fellow comes up a little bit short. That is quite a heavy hanger though. See what Hutchinson's able to do. Unable to convert. Leaving a heavier hanger for Kerry Fellow. Unable to convert. Those look like gimmies, I assure you they are not. When there's that much disc hanging over, it's almost a follow-through-esque shot that needs to be made. Hutchinson in good position here now, though, with the hammer. Play to the outside. Intentionally leaving the red disc on. He is quite content to extend play outside for as long as he can. As you saw in the first couple of rounds, Kerry Fellow very proficient in the open 20s. So if Hutchinson can keep playing his side of the board with the hammer, he is a happy camper. See what Kerry Fellow's going for here. Yeah, he wanted to peel everything. Caught his own, did not catch the black disc. Still, uh, still forces play back to the middle, but this is exactly what he did not want. Forced to peel again, giving Hutchinson another open 20 attempt. It's the right way to miss. Much better to go long than come up short. 
Carey Fellow pushes for that follow through 20, a little off on the angle. Hutchinson again in control of this. He has hammer, he has a 120 advantage. And now he's got himself fairly well posted there. Carey Fellow needs to manufacture something, and he does. What great touch on that shot. Still in a tough situation, though, as Hutchinson just cancels that 20 out. Back into a 120 advantage. Doesn't even need to shoot. He's already secured the round. Hutchinson goes up 4-2. to two. That may not look like a highlight, but it is absolutely a brilliant strategy play out of Hutchinson. Beautiful touch there displayed by Carey Fellow in that bounce back 20. Hutchinson first to act in this round. Drains that 20. Carey Fellow just barely lips out. Could give Hutchinson a big advantage if he's able to secure this off in a 20, and he does. Carey Fellow comes up short, giving Hutchinson the opportunity to extend his lead even further. Unable to convert, still in a good position here with a 220 advantage against the hammer. Nice touch 20 from Carey Fellow, putting a little pressure on Hutchinson. That open 20 was critical, and he's off just that little bit. Carey Fellow still has work to do, but uh, that miss was definitely what he was hoping for. He's looking for the off and 20 here. Beautiful, great shot. Pressure on Hutchinson. Immune to the pressure again as he drains that 20. Back in control of this round. Carey Fellow obviously not liking his options. Going to drop to the side, go for a follow through. Good push, loses the shooter. Hutchinson makes him pay for that error and secures that round for sure. Hutchinson about to go up six to two in this race to 11. Carey Fellow just takes that opportunity to practice an open 20 to get ready for the next round as he will be the first to act in this next round. A couple highlights here. Josh starts out with the open 20, putting a little pressure on Hutch. Hutch goes along. See what Carey Fellow does here. If he looks to play defense, he does. Nice position. Hutchinson likely just to secure the off to try to wait for a better opportunity. This is an opportunity for Carey Fellow to uh, rub a little salt in the wound and go for another off in a 20. Certainly not a gimme, but it's there if he wants to go for it. Opting to... Wow, well, little indecision setting in here. If he goes for that 20, he should get the off for sure. He goes for the 20, he gets it, he's in great shape. If he, oh, that is not what he wanted. But if you go for that off in 20 and you don't get it, you can, uh, a near miss can easily set your opponent up. Regardless, we're knotted up in the 20 cup. Carey Fellow takes the 120 advantage again. Hutchinson misses. Critical miss at this point in the round. Ooh, I think he was trying to get spicy on that one. Get the off, use his own disc, and... Yeah, this is interesting. Carey Fellow needs another 20, or he needs a double takeout. Oh, double takeout and the 20. What a fantastic shot. A 
That went from Hutchinson being in control to Cariafello being back in pretty good control. If he had drained that 20, he would have secured the point, the two points. Now he's opened the door for Hutchinson to secure a point. Look at that fantastic double takeout 20. Hutchinson first act in this round. Hutchinson sitting with a 7-3 lead in this race to 11. Carey Fellow with a beautiful rollout. Now we get into a little bit of a chess match. Carey Fellow trying to keep it away from the center. Hutchinson trying to bring it back in. Nice spot from Josh. Does not give Andrew any good options, that's for sure. He's going to need something a little bit aggressive here. Or to be patient and wait, which he chooses to do. Carrie Fellow content to stay over there between the pegs on Hutchinson's side of the board. A little pullback on Hutchinson's part. I'm not sure if that was intentional. He's probably going to try to pull this up in behind the peg a little bit. There we go. That's a pretty good spot. Gettable, but absolutely missable, that's for sure. Hutchinson with the push. Brings it back into the house. Unusual to see these two competitors sitting with uh, no discs in the 20 cup. Yeah. Now Carrie Fowler, all he needs is a takeout, but this is uh, certainly not a gimme. He's going to need to go across that center hole, which is always tricky. Oh, barely stays on for the two points. Well done. <laughs> Carey Fellow first to act in this round. Hutchinson now sitting 7-5 to five in this race to 11. Oh, flips backward out of that center hole. Carey Fellow makes him pay. Hutchinson refines his range. Carey Fellow to miss this time, giving Hutchinson the opportunity to square things up in that 20 cup. Oh, unable to convert. Carey Fellow in a good position now. He's against the hammer, but 120 up, and he's just going to look to, yeah, nice positioning there. See if Hutchinson's able to utilize a peg, and he is. Wow, I didn't think he was going to be able to catch that much of it. Let us know in the comments, what kind of match do you most enjoy watching? I know uh, there are people that comment the 20s races get a little bit boring, but uh, what uh, one, what do you enjoy watching? And two, what, uh, what kind of matches do you learn from? Do you have a favorite match out there? A uh, particular competitor that you've learned the most from? Let us know. And maybe that's something we can dig a little deeper on. Maybe do a critical analysis of some of these matches. Personally, I enjoy situations like this when they... Uh, I don't know if Hutchinson was trying to manufacture this situation, but I think he likes it as Kerry Fellow scratches his head, forced to go through his own. Ooh, not what Hutchinson wanted. Kerry Fellow able to just keep playing on the outside. Hutchinson pretty much hooped, not even pretty much, completely hooped at that point. 7-7. Seven, seven. Seven, seven. How the turntables. Hutchinson was up 7-3, and now we're back knotted up 7-7. No surprise with these two. Very evenly matched. Very skilled Crokinole players. Not just in open 20s in all aspects of the game. These two, uh, these two know their stuff. Good strategy. Good, uh, good ability to do what they want to do on the board. How is that for some technical jargon? Nice drop back 20 by Hutchinson, taking a 120 lead. <clears throat> Carey Fellow taking a minute to let the fans settle down. A little commotion there. Oh, should have taken another second maybe as he leaves Hutchinson a nice backboard. He converts that, taking a 220 lead. 
Can never take your foot off the gas though. Carry a fellow with the hammer. There's the mistake Josh was waiting for. <clears throat> See if he's able to make him pay for that. Hutchinson secures another 20. A lot of pressure on this shot. If Hutchinson secures this 20, he has secured the two points and the round, taking a 9-7 lead. He drains it. Nothing Carey Fellow can do except practice his open 20s at this point. What a beautiful drop back. So many competitors would look at that and go, oh, that's too far away. Hutchinson understands his range, able to get the off and the drop back 20. Carey Fellow first to act as he has his back to the wall. Hutchinson comes up a little bit short. See if Carey Fellow is able to convert on this. And he is taking a 2-20 lead. Hutchinson refines his range. Carey Fellow up 4-2. 4-3. to three. See if Carriafello is able to knock this up 9-9. Nine, nine. Force a uh, tiebreaker round in their race to 11. Unfortunate miss on Hutchinson's part. Carriafello up 5-3. to three. Hutchinson needs that 20. Didn't get the off or the 20. He's in deep at this point. Beautiful spot from Carriafello. Secures the off. Gets himself posted. Hutchinson pretty much hooped at this point. Even if he's able to secure that 20, he was, uh, yeah. This round is over. A couple practice shots from the two competitors as they get ready for the next match as things are knotted up nine to nine, as it should be. It, uh, this tournament was a little smaller field than usual, but uh, still some very, very tough competitors. The afternoon round robin was uh, very, very scrappy. And uh, yeah, two, four great competitors in the semifinal and final matches. Carry a fellow first to miss. If Hutchinson's able to convert on this, he gives himself a nice position. Hutchinson goes up three to one. Carry a fellow still with the hammer though. Another miss. Hutchinson has a lot of experience in, uh, in pressure matches like these ones. He has been a staple in the final four of many NCAA matches in doubles and singles. A lot of experience dealing with the pressure. Carrie Fellow, although new on the finger side, has been a Crokinole competitor for quite a while. Uh, very, very accomplished on the Q side before he jumped over to the dark side to play with us fingers players. And uh, his, his track record is very good thus far. As the kids would say, he is a problem. And uh, yeah. Hutchinson taking his time, knowing how critical that takeout is. Still up a 220 advantage, but carry a fellow not out of this, given that he has the hammer. See if he's able to utilize a peg here and put some pressure on Hutchinson. Good action, a little off. Very gettable, but not a gimme. Hutchinson needs this takeout. Has he left the door open for an off and a 20 here from carry a fellow? It is there. Not a gimme, but definitely there. Oh. Secures the 20, not the off. Hutchinson takes his time. He's got a 120 advantage, one on. He peels. Hear someone in the audience say, what? That, uh, that was an interesting decision. Let's see if it pays off. He drains this, he will secure the win and the championship, and he gets it. Great match. Really hope you've enjoyed this matchup. Let us know your favorite parts. 
Let us know which of these, uh, these matches from the Frosty Flick you most enjoyed. Thank you for tuning in. We'll be coming back at you after the London tournament. Thanks for watching. Make it a great day.